Hello, John Dilworth here, and there's no pencil sharpener because we are working on a machine, and uh, that's the way it is. So where are we now? So I'm developing this scene. This is scene 60, and uh, there's all sorts of things going on. Now this is my guide. You can see there's Jim. I keep him up so I could judge my own size and proportions and all this jazz, just to make sure he's on model, that my drawings are on model. That's uh, good practice, good principles. Let me see if I can turn his, uh, let me see if I can turn him off. Jim's gone. Okay, so Jimmy Jim Jim is gone. And let me see if I can get closer here so you can see what action's going on. Hold on. I get very excited with animation. I was just thinking about animation all day, in fact. So here's some stuff. So where, where was I? Okay, so Jim, Jim has, he's, he's put the key in the lock. He's opening. So that's where I was. This is where I was yesterday. And so Jim is opening this door. Right. So this is how, this is where we were. This is how I got you. Where it is. So he's there, and yeah, I use different colors <clears throat> for different reasons that will soon become very obvious to you as you develop your own works. The hair I like putting in a different color because uh, there's things I could do to it animating. But here is see, if I turn Jimmy Jim Jim off, whoop, turn him off. And here's my door. It's in rough. And see this this piece here is a reuse. So it just it just animates into that. Bing. It's not exactly ha <laughs> ha. I have to say that it's <clears throat> it's not perfect. <laughs> but it's gonna get me there because what is it? Half a second? It just goes ring. And so that's that. So you could say that that Johnny's cheating. And I am. I'm cheating there. So here he is. And what has he got to do? So Jules is in here. I guess we're going to need Jules. Let me see my board. Right. Here, I'm going to show you this. So he did this. So that's that. If you could see, let me give you a little light. I don't know if this is going to be worse or worse. Better or worse? Which is which do you like? Worse or worse? Right? The worse of the worse? Let me see. Oh, it's actually better this way. Okay, so uh, I got to F. This says F. So he's opened the door. So now he's got to go in there. And he's got to grab Jules. And then he's going to drag her out. So I have to do this. This is where I am, and then I can start. Well, anyway, I got to do flique after. I got to do flique. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's get Jules up. And I'm like, so what was I saying? I was thinking all sorts of things, but I got to. Oh, where is Jules? Oh, she wouldn't be there. She'd be there. There she is. This lovely little beast, right? And it all—it's just the way it is with relationships. S some somebody, you know, one or the other goes through these terrible periods where they're not human anymore. Okay, so where is Jim? Jim's here. I'm just trying to figure out how far to extend the kid. So maybe eighty. We could always, we could always uh, pull her back, right? All this looks familiar for the initiated. So there she is, and so he's gonna, he's gonna grab her. Hold on, he's here, and now he's got to go and grab her. So how are we gonna do that? So let me see. Let's do this. Let's let's lower the opacity of this kid, just so I could. Make it 30% for now. There. Perfect. Perfect. 
Okay, so Jimmy's there. Let me get some down. Let me get some down. Let me get some down. Oh, oh, what am I doing? I, I was supposed to expose this. Oh, let me just see something here. A lot of this is F. That's F. So it's open. Right. Oh, so did he do it? He's moving on ones? Oh, no, he's on twos. Okay, so everything's good. All right, so panic is over, and animation can continue. Let's actually try to do something, for goodness sakes. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to open this wider, because I don't have microscopic eyeballs. I like seeing things. Let me see. There's two. Right. So, and then where do I have to go? So, this is the beginning of G. And G is, all he has to do is grab her hands. That's all he has to do. That's all I have to do is get to G. So, I don't know if you can see this, but um, this scene was timed out where these very specific actions happen at two beats a second. And the tempo remains that way throughout this whole scene. So he's con Jim has concluded his action, and he's going to begin a new, new bit of business, which is F, no, G. G is him holding the arms. Okay, now that you got that nonsense, and you think, oh, well, when is he going to draw? The drawing actually begins right now. So this is not going to be useful to you. Okay, so here we go. Whoopsies. Jim, where is your... Jim, I need you, Jim. Okay, so how will I do this? I'm already thinking that half a second, six drawings. So I need six drawings for him to be there. Sometimes it's, it's interesting for me to plot out... Um, Let's say, thinking this would be a foot, right? And so here's a good example of where Jim's guide could be useful. So he's further back in perspective, right? So I made him a little bit shorter for that illusion, but he's got to come back up. So here's his shooty shoe. So let's say his shoe... Let's say his shoe's here. I'm just going to rough in a pose because this foot can go here and then this one can go here, right? And because Jim has got some, I like the way Jim has got weird body. Things are happening. I'm just going to lay that down there. And you see the length of his body here. And let's say... Let's say this is his midsection. I'm just saying, right? And then he's got this scoliosis. So I always want this type thing to happen. Like, you know, like this. So is that about right? Here, let's do this. Whoa, earthquake! You know, when an earthquake happens, you you got to just go with it. Shake and bake. Shake it. Oh, shake and bakey. Shake and bakey. Okay, so this is ass. That's that foot in perspective. Let's give it a little bit more. I'll develop these lines. And here's his head. So, you know, it's about the same. And he's got to look at her. And one arm. Right, so how does he get this arm? He's got to grab this one. Which means, do you know what I mean? He's not there. <clears throat> That's why we have this guide. So it's not arbitrary. Some illusion is obtained. So if he's, if that arm's got to be there and this arm's here, this is just okay. So his ass would be here and his S-E-S-E. You know, it's just like to give him this kind of thing. So, ah, ah, earthquake, earthquake. Can you see anything? Are we lost? Are we lost? 
is all the world lost. Okay, this thing is going to, we're going to end it soon. But I'll just, here's the head, right? So you get a sense of the height. I'm just getting a sense of the height here. And, right, so there is a guide. There's my, there's my final position, really. And what are you going to do here? You're going to do this, right? I'm just going to do this so it's, it's clear what's going on. So this is there. So this is up here. So I'm going to change that. Anatomy. So even with funky drawings that are personalized like this, it helps to have a sense of anatomy. You don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. But... It's, it's always good to know how things work. And this is his, and he's going to be looking at her. So he's going to actually go in that box. So I think it's pretty close. And uh, so that's where I want to go. I'm going to go from here to here. And how will we do it? Like I said, uh, this foot goes over. That's the first. And then when he steps down, this one goes here. And you could see, does he go up and down, or does he... I think he does that. He's going to swing in with his body and maybe his hip. It's very... I love it because this is his ankle right here. All the weight will be distributed to this foot right here as this one comes up to come down. And, and I'm just getting off on just discovering this. It's like some kind of magic potion for drawing. And, you know, the drawings, you just get all banana, banana here. But, I, you know, with time and mastery, by doing it, you see, and here's his head, and he's got to go under, right? So he's already... Right, he's already gonna, and then how would he get his Essie Essie back? So you could, oh, like this, right? And he may be leaning on this still, so we could have this, but then this hand would be here. I got all sorts of things, so woohoo! But of course, if we get a little variations. I don't know if any of that could be seen. I really don't. So we turn off this kid and all the models. Wait a minute, the reuse. What is here? All of them. All, all around. Yeah, there's the background. Oh, there's this kid. But and there's the Wolfy Wolfy duels. So maybe that's clearer. I don't know. Anyway, they're just little sketches. I'm not even sure I like this one. But at least mentally, I worked it out. So I'm just going to erase that for now. And now that I have this very key thing, this is the most important drawing right here. And if I take out the Julesy Julesies, pop, then I could begin working the alchemy called... Ah! No, I wasn't called that. I was... I didn't mean to erase that. Called animation. Okay, that's that's the update I just wanted to give you. So I didn't, I didn't mean to leave you so long without something goody-goody. So there it is. I hope it's useful. Until next time, stay animated.